there he is. Boy, that one just came off the bottom on a rail. It's, it's funny how sometimes these crappies, he saw it a long ways up. I mean, he came railing up. Oh yeah, there he is, look at that. Look at that. That's another great fish. And we've been, we've been just piling it on these fish all day. And you know what a, a lot of it was? I started early this morning using a spoon and I was jigging really, really aggressively. And I was having a, having a real hard time getting them to bite. I was really struggling. It was getting frustrating because, you know, when you're sitting there and you, you think they should bite a certain thing because yesterday they did and they don't on a given day, it can get really hard. But one of the reasons I was able to get it figured out this morning was because I'm using the RTS window and the real-time sonar and watching my jig history in my Helix unit. And here's what I mean by this whole thing. When I was working that spoon this morning, I was really banging it around. Yesterday, they were really, really aggressive and we were killing them on that spoon, just banging it around. But for some reason today, I was actually spooking fish and I was watching it happen with the jig history on this helix unit all of a sudden a fish had come up i bang it around really hard and yesterday they just nail it today they went today they go right back down to the bottom well here's the thing when you're sitting there watching a 2d sonar unit you actually get to watch what's happening with the fish you really get to pay attention to how they're moving how they're reacting and you're able to pay attention to how your jig stroke looks down there you know sometimes really really fast is going to make a difference but sometimes slowing it down and when you get that bite all of a sudden you think to yourself a lot of times, what did I do to make that fish bite? Because I want to do it again. Well, with a 2D sonar unit and that jig history, you can actually look at it and you can say, oh, there's what it was. You know what? That fish got active and came up when I slowed down at the top of the jig stroke and held it there. Or when I you know, ran it down real hard and then banged it back up again. But there's all these things you can see with that 2D sonar. The other thing is because we have that real time sonar window, it's just like watching a, an old style flasher. I'm able to know exactly what I'm doing in real time and I see that fish come up and then the whole thing scrolls over into my history. So I know what's going on now and I know what was going on just a minute ago so that I can watch this whole sequence. And when you put all that together, that's what makes using a 2D sonar unit like this new Helix better than a flasher. It makes it so that I know everything going on, I know everything that's been going on, and I can keep up with these fish. I can keep up with what they want throughout the whole day by watching that and knowing exactly how they're reacting You know, every single time I drop back down there. And that can make a huge, huge difference when it comes to either filling a pail full of fish or going home with just a couple. Get that back down there, see if we can get us another one. 